What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Fantasy Wednesday. Uh, I'm very glad that you are joining me again. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to another day of uh, reaction and commentary. If you're used to this type of content, welcome back. Um, today, we're going to be watching another Disney classic, um, Peter Pan. I just I just said it out there. It's Peter Pan. We're going to be watching Peter Pan. And despite uh, the embarrassment that I don't know anything about Peter Pan besides him being able to fly and him having a few fairies with him, if I'm not mistaken, it's not something that I was told as a child. Neither did I read the book. Don't know uh, a lot of... Um, um, material on him besides knowing that uh, if I'm not mistaken there's a movie called Pan I know that there were several remakes of this film but we're going back all the way to the 1953 classic um, which I'm I'm like putting it in quotes classic because I, I just assume it's a classic um, I think I will you know come out you know affirming that but you know <clears throat> if you like these you know disney disney film you know like commentaries let me know like leave leave a comment down below um and for those of you who have been showing a lot of support by um destroying that button and no that that, that button is a fairy that button is a fairy today it's a fairy and for those of you who have been supporting thank you so much you guys have been rocking it and we're almost at 100 can you believe it wow we're almost at 100 and okay so today without further delay i got this film loaded i hope you do too because captain we are a go oh i like that feather you know as the as the t stroke that's kind of cool Again, I'm assuming these pieces of art are like foretelling the story even before it starts. So, that, I mean, they're beautiful pieces of art. So, I'm 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 just collecting it in my mental brain. Mrs. Darling believed that Peter Pan was the spirit of youth, but Mr. Darling, Mary, unless I find my cufflinks, we don't go to the party. Oh, okay. Mr. Darling and Mrs. Darling are completely different. And I didn't know that. The Peter Pan is the spirit of youth. <laughs> Captain Hook. I know I know that's a film with uh, Robin Williams, if I'm not mistaken. Must we always take that nasty tonic? Nana, the nursemaid, being a dog. Oh, Nana, I did not, uh, I did not expect <laughs> Nana to be a dog. And I'll cut you to pieces. Uh -huh. Well, look at that. Nana is amazing. Are you kidding me? I, this, is, I, this is the first time I'm seeing something like this. Uh, like almost a, a mate of a butler that is a dog? Wow, that's kind of cool. Back, 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 villain. Uh, insolent pup. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's some words for some playing. George, dear, we really must hurry or we'll be Mary. married. <laughs> they, they buried his cufflings. I mean, well, I guess uh, well, they're they're so imaginative as a kid. Like, that, I don't know if I did, ever did that with, like, Easter hunts and stuff, like buried treasure, but I've always wanted to do it as a kid. Now, George, really, it comes right off. That's no excuse. When the... Wait, she just now wiped off the whole map. <laughs> How are they gonna find it? Well, unless the boys like remember it off the head. It's high time she had a room of her own. Oh, sure. What? No. Wait, why is that so bad? Why is that so bad if she has a room of her own? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Very smooth animation, might I add. Like, uh, incredibly smooth. There you go, everybody's sympathetic towards Nana. <laughs> if anything, they well, Mr. Darling, he's, he's not happy. All he wants to find is his cufflinks. There'll be no more dogs for nursemaids in this house. Goodbye, Nana. 
Oh, come on. Poor Nan. You're kidding me. He's dragging her out all the way onto the street. Well, you're not really a nurse at all. You're, well, a dog. Oh, come and on. That's, that's so, that's harsh. So, so when there, she's not, like, perf performing her duties, she's, well, no love. Mother. What is it, dear? Oh, there you go, buried treasure. <laughs> the cufflinks. I like that. Uh, you know, the kid Michael. Is so it looks so innocent. Like, how can you ever be angry with him if he just wanted to, like, to do a little bit of imaginative treasure hunting? I found something that belongs to him. Oh, and what's that? Oh, his shadow. Shadow. Mm, Nana had it, but I. What does that mean? She she uh, took his shadow. <laughs> what is this metaphorical? Peter Pan! You don't say. Goodness gracious, whatever shall we do? But George, Sound the alarm. Really Call I'm Scotland kidding. Yard. <laughs> Call Scotland Yard. Hey, what a sarcastic answer. <laughs> Oh, let me guess, he's going to set Nana free or something. It would be also pretty interesting if this whole film takes place within the time they're at the party. And uh, that's what I'm assuming is like the, uh, Peter Pan will take them on like a complete journey. Okay, there must be some uh, like uh, some like importance to his shadow that he's he's sneaking in and that nana has it so how is he gonna get it so we don't know i don't know i don't know i don't even know the significance what was that <laughs> she was measuring her hips Whoa. again may, maybe you guys know the significance of that you do let me know Uh, how do you ca how do you catch your shadow? Uh, taller, perhaps, but then oh, you can't stick it on with soap, Peter. You can't stick it on. He's sticking on his shadow <laughs> to the foot of his own shoe. That's kind of funny. It was your shadow the minute I saw it, and I said to myself, I said I'll put it away for him until he comes back. Wow, a lot a lot of emphasis is being put on Tink's like hips. <laughs> it's kind of odd. Girls talk too much. Yes, girls talk too. Uh -huh. Oh, well, get on with it, girl. Whoa, 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 buddy, buddy, you better calm down, calm down. <laughs> My stories, but they're all about you. Of course, that's why I like them. I tell them to the lost boys. Okay, okay, okay. What? What is Peter Pan a narcissist? Well, he's not. I don't think he's narcissistic, but. That's actually pretty cool that he, you know, it was the shadow was so uh, sewn on into the foot of his own shoe. I kind of like that. What's mother? Why, Peter, a mother's someone who who loves and cares for you. Oh, please don't tell me uh, Peter Pan doesn't have a mother. Well, what about the brothers? I think I'll give you a, a kiss. Wait, why is it? <laughs> why is Tink so protective? Why is she so like shocked? Talking. What did she say? <laughs> Tinkerbell is not too, not too happy with some of the company that she's being surrounded with right now, including that of Peter Pan. Where are we going? To Neverland. Neverland? Peter's taking us. Us? Well, of course. I, I could... Michael is drawn so cute. Like, <laughs> he's, he's so funny. And even his outfit. But you gotta take orders. Hi, I saw. Me too. But Peter... How do we get to Neverland? Fly, of course. Fly, of Fly. course. Why not? They're all going to be flying. Now, question is, do they all have to hold his hand, or is he going to bestow them secret magical powers? It's easier than fly. He can fly. He can fly. He can fly. That ain't a bird. That ain't Superman. That's Peter Pan. <laughs> now, everybody try. One, two, three. Oh, no way, they're gonna. F oh, they're falling. <laughs> nice. All it takes is faith and trust. 
Okay, very biblical. All it needs is faith and trust. And then you can, if you, hey, if you believe it, you can fly. Yeah, <laughs> I believe I can fly. Now, think of the happiest things. It's the same as having wings. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, nah, it's okay with a little bit of pixie dust. You're able to fly and think of happy things. Go! Oh, please take Nana. Up to Neverland. Look at that. Look at that. Nan Nana's losing her mind. She's like, what's going on? How does he have his shadow back? Again, another another great film that like stirs up the imagination among you know kids and children watching this. This is very appropriate, like teaching children to have faith and to have trust, to believe that they can do the impossible. Well, yeah, and you know, looking at Michael fly with a teddy bear, like I can imagine if you're a five year old or so, or something like that, you would love this. Wait, is Tinkerbell a thing? Is she is she is she like is she a thing with uh, Peter Pan? <laughs> Does she like Peter Pan? Oof, beautiful that that sh that sh that okay, that shot was gorgeous. Like especially with the music, you know, uh Think of uh, like like how happy you would be when you say goodbye to the world and rid off rid of, rid off all of it and say goodbye, like and then you're going to Neverland. It's like wow, that's that's something I like that. Good morning, shipmate. And what's good about it, Mister Smee? Whoa, <laughs> man! Is it, whoa, 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 whoa! Very violent people. Violent people. Well, forgotten how to slit the throat <laughs> whoa 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 this this is this is the slitting throats and looting ships man no way <laughs> he killed him wow he just shot him yo that's so gangster wow Oh, he's close. He's close by. <laughs> yeah, he's getting PTSD right now. <laughs> How's that? You can you can negotiate with the alligator. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? And Smee, Smee, man, Smee is like the ultimate like you know, friend, but somebody who everybody pushes around as well. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he must be. He must be so into his song. He must be vibing so much. I never shaved him this close before. <laughs> <laughs> he thought his head is gone. <laughs> Poor Smee, man. You kind of want him to uh, to have like some sort of freedom. Like he's being just like taken so much advantage of right now and everybody just wants Peter Pan's head oh Peter it's just as I've always dreamed it would be oh look John there's Mermaid Lagoon Mermaid Lagoon I, I'm assuming we're gonna be there we're gonna visit all of the islands look, it's Cap the whoa <laughs> no way they actually shot man they want to kill him Man, Tinkerbell is, is she's rebellious for some odd reason. I don't know why. She could, either she's really protective or she's like, she just doesn't like anybody uh, like Peter Pan go like goes with. Wow, okay, they all have their own weapons and all so on and so forth. So this is a gang. This is like Peter Pan's gang. No way. Come on, Tinkerbell. How come on? That's that's a little bit too much now. Come on. What what have they done? You saved my 
alive. Are you hurt it, Wendy? No, my. Okay, yeah, she's she's particularly like uh, <laughs> yeah, like moody and like uh, you know snobby towards Wendy. Skullbuster! Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow, that's a little bit graphic. I bring your mother to tell your story. Your mother? And you shoot her down. Whoa! Take that was a yeah, I'm assuming everybody's gonna start liking her because she's gonna tell some stories, and Tinkerbell will be the last one to be like, ah, yeah, she's kind of cool. Tinkerbell. Oh, she's one rebellious. <laughs> she does what she wants. <laughs> I kind of like Tinkerbell as well. All right, men. Go out and capture a few Indians. John, you be the leader. I shall try to be worthy of my post. Come on, Wendy. I'll show you the mermaids. Wow, that's complete trust, eh? That's complete trust. <laughs> she's leaving her two younger brothers with, with, a, with a bunch of gang who just uh, attempted to kill her. <laughs> I like how Michael, Michael and John have the umbrella and the bear, and they're just making the most of it, out of it just to get by. Man, they're crossing, they're crossing dangerous territory. They have, they have bears, they have giant gorillas, they have like <laughs> hippos. Wow. First, we must plan our strategy. Uh, what strategy? A plan of attack. Oh, come on. Why attack? Come on. They're not your enemies. I, li I like how I like how suddenly the axe throwing suddenly just became so innocent. Like, like somebody's head wasn't about to come off. Uh-oh. Michael was just kidnapped. Oh, John was just kidnapped. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I love the design. That's a beautiful design. It, it, but but it's obviously mis well, at the time I don't know, but obviously everybody everybody is good. There's no prejudice against anyone. Everybody is equal and everybody's beautiful. Sometime we win. Okay, chief. Uh, you win this time. Now turn us loose. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they finally have the lost boys, and do you think they're gonna turn them loose? If Tiger Lily not back by sunset, burn them at stake. What? This is some serious accusations. We have, we have Tiger Lily is like who kidnapped Tiger Lily, and at the same time, it's like we, we gave you, she's not back by by a certain time. We're burning you at the stake, man. Okay, Peter's quite famous amongst uh, the Lagoon Island. The Mermaid Lagoon. He's famous. What do you hear about the time I cut off Hook's hand and threw it to the crocodile? Oh, I've always liked that one. Me too. I, 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 like, I like how he's just like, okay, you want me to tell you a story? Okay, let me tell you a story of when I cut, <laughs> when I cut off Captain Hook's hand and <laughs> fell it to the crocodile. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> hey, we're just having a little fun. Weren't you girls? That's all. We were only trying to drown her. You see? What? What's going on? Why is everybody trying to kill Wendy? It captured Tiger Lily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crocodile loves the taste of Hulk for some odd reasons. <laughs> it's completely terrorizing him. <laughs> and then, well, and they have, and they have Tiger Lily. Am I not a man of me word, Mr. Smee? <laughs> yes. Uh, are we, Captain? <laughs> You'd better talk, my dear. Okay, the, okay, how is Tiger Lily supposed to know unless she is really good friends with Peter Pan, obviously? Did you hear that, Smee? It's an evil spirit. Captain Hook and Smee are like the perfect uh, buddy cop. <laughs> Except Smee is, uh, well, he's a prisoner. Like on, like not not by choice, obviously, or maybe maybe he is. I don't know.
There you go. Take your chances. There you go. Smart Peter Pan. Wendy, watch this. Hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> Peter Pan loves to be... Peter Pan... Okay, I, I can admit. Like, Peter Pan seems to, like, love the spotlight. Like, he's, he's proud of his, like, abilities and stuff. Which, I mean, it's not a bad quality. Didn't you just say to go... What's up, back? You blithering idiot! <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Hook and Mr. Smee are... I don't think Hook will ever kill Mr. Smee because he's just too valuable. But that also is like... I'm I'm also kind of interested in now Peter Pan's abilities so he can fly. Um, he's probably like very like combat agile and he can like manipulate his voice, obviously. Uh-oh. Here's your spirit, Smee! Okay, so I'm counting. That's one time Wendy saved his life. So, okay, Wendy's clearly an OG. She she deserves some props. Wendy? Oh, Peter, do be careful. Well, it is kind of like a mother and son relationship, right? Because when, like, when children, like, they want to impress their mom. It's like, hey, watch this mom. And, you know, he, they, they, they do something awesome. No, <laughs> P Peter Pan is quite good in orchestrating murders. No, 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 no. Obviously not, but he, Peter Pan is smart. Whoa, whoa, nice, nice, nice. We finally have some combat. This is this is what we want to see. We want to see some pirates and Peter Pan fighting. I got you this time, Pan. <laughs> He's gonna fall down. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Always, always, always coming more for Captain Oak. He loves it. Oh, man. Wow. Mr. Crocodile is hungry. Oh, come on, Peter Pan. You got, you got to save him. You can't just watch somebody like... Like... No. No, he's in the mouth of the crocodile. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, this is... This is terrifying for like... I can imagine for children, this must be terrifying. Oh man. These, this, is, this is crazy. <laughs> this is so crazy. Uh, he has a red... His hand was a... His, his hand was like devoured by this crocodile it's coming for him in this deep murky water and he's just in and out of the mouth man wendy is like the smart one she's like the very logical person like she is she has like that that you know not that she has motherly figures, but, you know, she has, like, a great sensibility in terms of care, in terms of, like, being very virtuous, very righteous, and so on and so forth. I, I actually now feel kind of bad for Captain Hook, because if you think about it, like, he, he just wants some type of, like, um... He wants to get him back for, like, what he did to his hand. And he's being terrorized by this crocodile who just wants to continue to eat him. Uh, but obviously, obviously, the fact that he's a pirate and he's, like, super greedy for, with money and stuff. Like, <laughs> I feel, can't even get a good shave. The pen is banished Tinkerbell. <laughs> Why are you doddering him, this highlight? Oh, is that is that the connecting point between him and Peter Pan is to think Cabell? That's it, Smee. That's it. I'm glad you agree, Captain. Quick, make a Smee is actually the smart one. He's the strategist amongst everyone. Bring her to me. Understand? Smee. <laughs> 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 Poor Smee, man. Smee. I don't, I, well, 
Smee, I don't know why I just not thought of Smeagol because obviously Smee Smeagol, but like he's a he's a smart kid, smart. Well, he's not a kid, but he's smart. Make Peter Pan keep big chief. You now little flying eagle. Oh, look at that. So Peter Pan, the Lost Boys, everybody, Wendy, Michael, John. Well, look at that. They got integrated. Now he has a name. <laughs> and now we get into a dance, like a, a musical number for like all the questions. They're passing on this tobacco as well. And I can't believe it. They're, <laughs> they're smoking it. Well, even John is, but well, John is the sm another smart guy who's like very knowledgeable about like history and stuff. Oh come on, Peter Pan! Who do you like now? Do you, what was it Tiger Lily now? Is it Wendy later? Is it the mermaids uh, another time? Come on, Peter Pan! Oh no, no, Smee actually finally got him, got, I mean, got her, Tinkerbell. Taking the best years of her life and then casting her aside. Wait, why, why would, why would Pixie, why would uh, Tinkerbell the Pixie be like regarded as the maid? It's more, more like the ally. Shanghai Wendy, Captain, take her to sea with us, with her gone. Peter will soon forget this mad infatuation. Shanghai, oh man, come on. <laughs> another, another, another plan to kidnap. Pan lives. Great Scott, you're right, Smee. Watch that bike. Oh, that, 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 that was actually, when he said Great Scott, that actually reminded me of Christopher Lloyd. And now I'm thinking, oh, I don't know why now I'm thinking this is Christopher Lloyd um, voicing, uh, Captain Hook. I must love Peter. There you go. She truly loves him. There you go. That's a, that's a good ally. That's that's what you want by your side. Thank you, my dear. You've been most helpful. <laughs> all lies, all lies and manipulation, man. Come on. Again, this is this is really an adventure for 1953 beautiful animation great adventures it's it's quite something <laughs> and and might i add also i kind of like the lost boys like cave and stuff Th their hideout is pretty interesting is that all you have to say everyone else thinks i'm wonderful especially tiger lily Everybody thinks I'm wonderful. Again, there's something I don't know. You guys have to tell me. Is he a like? Does he have that narcissistic like tendency, or is it just because like he in general has nobody, and that's why he like longs for some type of acceptance? I had a white rat. That's no mother. <laughs> You're kidding me. The, the the twins just cracked their necks. Over talking about mothers. Hand that guides you along. Uh oh, here we go. Pirates are looming in Hangman's Tree. But uh, I guess the moral of the story so far is you know, always have, well, love your mother and she's the best. And you know, you know, live life and, you know, because your mom always believes in your dreams. She's the best. Well, dads are also cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's me as a tattoo. It's me as a tattoo. It's me as a tattoo that says mother. And I want the irony. The irony. Look at that. Wendy is... I don't know how old Wendy is in this film, but she's, she's by far even better than Peter Pan. Like, she's to me, is the main part of the movie right now. Once you're grown up, you can never come back. Never! 
what's what, what, come on now, Peter Pan? Don't be like that. This is this is, this is Neverland. Come on, you can always come back. Every, so okay, so you have to either choose between two things: as like have a real mother, or like live as uh, live like forever. And you know what would you choose? Would you choose to have like people that love you, or or like a, a place where you know you're always well basically for peter pan it's you know he lives forever he's around people who like him a lot he gets to tell more stories he gets to come to earth and london and look at people like look at how people live their lives and so on and so forth and then just come back and captain hook never breaks a promise don't enjoy your working for captain hook the world's most famous crook. The world's most famous crook. And nobody <laughs> working for Captain Hook is the best. <laughs> like, and you have Smee as well. Like, <laughs> it all seems pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure the movie a Hook with uh, Robin Williams is about this. Uh, you know, it's about Peter Pan, but just from Hook's perspective. I'm thinking. Join up with Captain. There you go. You want to be a pirate. See, this guy This guy is very good at, uh, like, recruiting, persuading, manipulating. <laughs> That's Captain Hawk. He says we'll walk the plank if we don't. Oh, no, we won't. Peter Pan will save us. We left a present for Peter. <laughs> uh oh Yeah, yeah, Tinkerbell has to do something because she's going to see all this, you know, this nincompoopery. And she's going to do something, and she'll see the heart of Wendy. Peter Pan will be blasted out of Neverland forever. No. <laughs> oh, come on now. Yeah, she. there you go. Now she's going to go to the rescue. She's going to, and there, uh, Peter Pan is going to come back. She's going to save uh, everyone. And maybe Peter Pan will forever live in London. Who knows? And maybe the Lost Boys will come back home join the family and they'll all have a real mother Hi, Tink. Look at Wendy left. oh Peter Pan is gonna say hey don't be jealous and stuff Wow Tinkerbell took that Wow she took the brunt look at that man She's an OG. I wish I had a Tinkerbell. Tink? Tinkerbell? Well, even the best of us, right, Peter Pan? We can all be naive. We can all be, like, like liking who we like. Like, it, it shows also... The, the good thing about Peter Pan is also, as well as, you know, as good as he is, as fun as he is, he also has sides of him that are not that, like, obviously... Um, glamorous, shall we say? Goodbye, Michael. Goodbye. And this seems like such a such a like a, a bad situation. Like, oh come on now, where where's the where's the rescue? Where's the rescue? Wendy's the first one to sacrifice herself again. Another thing, like like the uh, good mother will do. Like like every mother is so sacrificial. They love children and stuff. It's a black day. Mark me words. The ships. There you go. I can, I can imagine everybody at the cinema is like, yeah, yeah, Wendy, Wendy and Peter Pan. I run him through. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, well, they really genuinely hate each other. Uh, well, it seems Captain Hook more than Peter Pan. And uh, it seems like Peter Pan is always getting the better of him, but this guy just tried to b literally bomb him out of Neverland. Well, well, he is really powerful. Like Peter Pan, don't get it twisted, he is. And now Smee is like taking his opportunity to leave. Smart guy, but Peter Pan is wait, the guy's a master. The amazing thing is Peter Pan looks like he's actually ha doing this for, like, practice lunch. <laughs> Captain Oak is genuinely trying so hard. 
Oh, come on. Horse meat. Like, he was just about to get down with his own boat, and suddenly everybody is now on it. Coward? Me? Ha ha ha! You wouldn't dare fight old Hook. Oh, this is just when everybody must be in this. Uh, please get Captain Hook down to the ocean so that a uh, crocodile could eat him or something. Everybody just wants that. Ooh, let's see how good Peter Pan is without his abilities. Who does Crocodile get to eat? Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Peter keeps his word. You know, the importance of keeping your word, but then also the importance of timing and strategy. If you say you're a codfish. I'm a codfish. Louder. Okay, that okay, that's a little bit too much. Don't bully him, man. Poor guy had some <laughs> he had some problems. Peter! Oh, there we go. Straight into the belly of the crocodile. Oh come on now. Poor Captain Hawk. <laughs> Such a sad oh man, that's weird. Could you tell me, sir, where we're sailing? To London, madam. There you go, they're going back home. A flying ship. Nice. Yep, just in time for back home. When mom and dad come back home, they're back home. Beautiful transition, by the way. I love that. Wendy, what on earth are you doing there? <sighs> there you go. They're all back home. They, if the children were gone, they, everybody would be panicking. But whatever happened to Nana, man? Poor, poor Nana was just flying up in the air, just choking herself with the rope. Tinkerbell and the mermaid and Peter Pan. Oh, he was the most wonderful of all. Why, why even when we were kidnapped, I... Kid oh, my goodness. She's ready to grow up, but now she's telling stories about how they were kidnapped and pirates they fought and stuff. He really is wonderful, isn't he? Oh, look at that, the flying ship. You know, I have the strangest feeling that I've seen that ship before. A long time ago. Now everybody believes. Now the youth, the youth in their heart suddenly believes in Peter Pan. Think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind. When you leave the world behind and bid your cares goodbye, Think about all the uh, the beauty that is when you can fly. Amazing. Okay, we're at the end. Okay. Thoughts, 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 thoughts. Okay, this is a wonderful, like, um, I don't know, like, in terms of teaching lessons, like, besides the fact that how I had mentioned about, you know, the importance of a mother, the importance of believing in yourself, um, believing in something as well, um, obedience. And, but I would say, like, this is a great journey. It's a great, like, fun ride for a lot of kids, especially because, you know, you have the whole thing about pirates and Indians and, you know, the whole thing about, like, the, the crocodile, um, the fight with, um, um, the fight with, um, the Captain Hook and stuff. But if I'm being honest, there was a little bit more to be desired from certain islands as opposed to like, like, let's say the Lagoon Island, the Mermaid Lagoon Island, where Peter Pan is just like, hey, OK, let me tell you a story. And then everybody's just like, oh, how are you, Peter? How are you? Peter? So there, there was a little bit more desired in terms of the map. When he was looking at the map, there was all these different places. And yes, we did get to visit them and stuff. But there's a little bit more that I kind of wanted to see, like how, like, yeah, but again, it's a, it's a 1953, you know, I, again, I, I'm assuming this is more directed towards kids, but then there's also an adult element to it. And, you know, it, there is a lot to, to like about this film. Uh, Peter Pan is this like very charismatic, very jolly, like youthful. I think the word is youthful and it explains a lot about his own behavior and stuff. 
like going to Neverland. And I don't know why. Oh, isn't that the name of Michael Jackson's like his whole thing? It was called Leaving uh, Neverland, and the documentary was called Leaving Neverland. So I'm not so sure whether there is a connection, but I'm f I'm so glad to finally say that I've watched this film and I know what it's about. Um, I would say without a doubt, Wendy is the OG of this whole movie because she's so responsible. She she believes she's the first one to sacrifice herself. She saved his life. Um, always so cautious, always so happy, so forgiving and everything. Wendy is awesome. Yeah, but you know what? If you guys have watched this film, if this is a nostalgic film, film for you if this is one of your childhood favorite films if i got anything wrong if i misinterpreted anything do let me know in the comments below and uh, also that button is my tinkerbell and oh another thing is tinkerbell like like what a interesting like side character in terms of her her rebellious side i don't think i don't know whether ever she whether she got over the fact of wendy whether she still feels a sense of jealousy uh, or like she's just happy right now that she has a flying ship and the lost boys and uh, peter pan are just sailing through right who knows i don't know but i think it's very you know, like the like a lot of the depictions of youth are very authentic like rebellion like um a sense of like like um confidence um but also like the humble obedience the the, the thrill of like um journeying and stuff but it, it's awesome i think it's great i i i actually think it's great but yeah besides besides wanting to see more of the um like the different parts of the map because i think it like different parts that we saw they were great right they were great and i just kind of wanted to see a little bit more i don't know, i wanted to see more of like what were the mermaid what was that whole uh like mermaid lagoon the lagoon thing all about what was it all about and hey, it would have been fun but yeah you guys let me know your thoughts, whether there's any interesting trivia about this film. Um, but other than that, I'll see you tomorrow for another Action Thursday. And I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are staying safe. And you know what? We're going to throw up two bunny ears that are flying in midair. We're going to give a good old Popeye Wahoo, say peace, and sm give a good old Peter Pan smile. What's up, you cinephiles? Thank you very much for making it to the very end. Me and Big Willie don't take that for granted. We really appreciate you. Now, if you'd like to show your support to us, you know what you can do up here. You can smash that button, really just smash it. And, you know, if you would like to check out some more content, they're all curated by days up over here and playlists. So, you know what? We hope you're having a great day. Don't crumble and just continue to smile and be a good bastion of cinema.